I'll reserve my best judgment at the end of the video. But first things first, we're going to go over the collection that we have in front of you here, which is basically going to be so far, I think, at TF Source Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store, Robot Kingdom, The Chosen Prime, Ages 3 and Up, and of course, this sold out on Hasbro Pulse, whatever. Um, so basically, I'm not going to go through all it. It's just repaints and not even repaints <laughs> of five figures that were already out, but some people say they couldn't get. I'm still like, wow, you couldn't get any of these? And I got all of them except for the helm. But they want me to spend $109 to get the helm, which makes these about $22 a figure. Multi -time, multiply times five is about one ten. Um, Like... I, I, I've said it. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it at the end of the video. Um, but we get five figures, and then we get four figures, and then we get Hound. And the only way we can get the Hound is spend hundred nine dollars. So here's the packaging. Well, looks pretty good. Selects Legacy United. It's not Studio Series eighty six, which that you know that Jazz really doesn't matter which line he's in. He's still just Jazz. <laughs> so for you SS eighty six people, stop it already. So here's the same Jazz, but a little bit more paint. Of course, he has the one piece now instead of two piece. That's why it's cheap price. Um, it's got a little bit of paint on the edge. So it's kind of more of a G1 paint job. It still has the dumb 14 on there. Um, even the paint job is not really that great. They just added a few lines and details here and there. But even the shins are great, which I don't know. It just kind of look, I don't know. It just don't, I, I mean, I was expecting a little bit more especially more of a darker color on the blue striping and everything, but they just left it the same. And literally what I did with mine was darken the blue. I mean, it just looks okay. It just looks basically the same, you know, except they dumbed it down. Now, at first when I saw the trail breaker, I thought the trail breaker was going to be, you know, that really, really grayish color as what was the masterpiece. But now looking at it, it just looks almost the same. And I don't know why. I mean, the lighting, that could be the case, but I mean, yeah, you kind of see where it has some of the masterpiece vibe, but again, I'm looking at it like I don't like the just painted plastic. I just think it's cheap to me, and I'm sorry y'all feel that way because some of y'all can't. House has got some weird things with clear plastic. It's really the way you handle your toys sometimes, but I digress. I know they're going to say it's not a, your fault. And then, of course, the Sunstreaker Witch. I'm not going to lie. The Sunstreaker has the correct deep shade of that orangey yellow that he should be or more or less like how he is with the masterpiece again but again you know besides getting the finally getting a gun i mean is it enough for you to get it when you know i think the best figure out of this line is besides the hound is going to be the wheeljack because you know the wheeljack is turning yellow but i still feel like it's just i don't know man i just feel like at first I want to I just don't want to spend that much money for one figure. I don't really need these. I don't really care about the yellowing on Wheeljack anymore. It's not my fault that the figure is yelling yellowing. That's Hasbro's fault. So why do I have to buy another set to get a better one? That's just I don't like that. I still don't like that. And of course, here's the hound. He looks like hound. Um, you know, one piece, you know, window. Well, that's okay for him because it's not much of a window anyway. Um, and of course, if somebody with clear gets a clear window, it's going to break in five seconds because clear plastic. Oh my god! But he looks like hell. I mean, he's got the correct paint job, the correct chest, the correct everything, you know. But in order to get him, you got to spend a hundred and nine dollars, no matter how you slice it. And even on the aftermarket, this is going to be bad because what's going to happen is people are going to sell the hound for like fifty, sixty dollars, and then sell the rest of these for about twenty bucks. And now it's going to flood the market with the first releases and it's just going to get messy having four figures that nobody that 50 to 40 percent of the people want because they didn't have it where the others already have. It. Um, the decos, like I said, they're not as exciting as I thought they would be. Jazz is a little more of the disappointment of them. Um, the fact that he really just looks like he looks like a cheaper version of the Studio Series version, which is let me stop saying that. It looks like a cheaper version of what was made for Studio Series. He's in selects now. Get it? Um, the Wheeljack probably looks the best because of how the deco is very clean and white and bright. Um, the Sunstreaker, I mean, I could go either or. I mean, it's not enough for me to really go out and buy him for a deeper shade of yellow. And the same thing with the Trailbreaker. It's almost like that first pictures we saw that were really grayish 
was kind of catching my eye because I was thinking, oh yeah, they're going to give us some extensive decos. But I want to explain this to people. And, and it's the same thing Dennis Moulton said. When you take away the clear window, you now have one piece instead of two. Those two tools to create that effect of the clear window, which to me still looks better, actually comes at a cost. Because as you see here, these figures are at a reduced cost of about 22 bucks, which is not bad, but they're still charging you a penny to get Hound. And I feel like, to me, this set is not worth it. If you have all four figures, you're going to spend, and I mean, the, the worst of the figures that is the Wheeljack, which is Yellowwing, it's just not enough for me to go out and spend that much money to get Wheeljack just to get Hound. I'll be happy with Siege Hound and the third party upgrades I got on. And I really feel that way, not because of money. I just, it just does not move me to buy this set to replace the ones that I already have. It's just, it just doesn't work for me. And um, you got to look at it with your own standpoint, but it just, just the set just doesn't excite me. And I really have to think about this one before I purchase it. But what are your thoughts? Leave them down in the comments below. I hear a lot of people saying they don't have them. Have at it, Hoss. But for me, eh, it's a no.